Hello, how autumnal am I? <laughs> For those of you who are new to my channel, which hopefully are at least two, because then I that would make sense as a plural statement. Welcome. This is my van. This is where I live. She has a table right now, but usually there's a bed right here, which is very cool, I think. As my van mate and I we trekked all the way back to England, where the van is from, to get an MOT and to just get her fixed up because the engine would like start and go <laughs> If any of you know cars and you know what that might be, maybe, maybe message me. <laughs> just comment, be like, I think this is what's wrong with her because she's actually still not quite working so well. I think we're going to take her to another mechanic, but at least we have the MOT done. Anyways, we were in England and I really wanted to get to the Peak District, but the first time that Ez and I went, um, I was kind of feeling tired and I did one of those things, one of those things that I would not have done like even just half a year ago because I'm like, you know, about climbing. And I was like, I don't feel so great. Everything kind of feels achy. I, I'm just not, I'm just not going to climb today. So I ended up just taking photos of Ez, which was really, really fun but also a little bit torturous because of course like I wanted to climb and I wasn't even injured, I was just tired. So anyways, that was one day. And so I was thinking, okay, I've got to go back. I've got to go back. I've got to go back. And finally we get back to the Peak District and I get this like, I'll exaggerate it and say it was a phone call. It was really just like a WhatsApp message, but just like, can you fly to Switzerland tomorrow for a photo shoot? And I'm like, yes. And so I just realized I had exactly four hours to climb in the Peak District before I had to sort out my plane tickets and just like leave the country. So I'm gonna show you my four hours in the Peak District. I don't know what those heel moves are. I don't really know what I was doing. I think I was just confused. <laughs> it's like, where am I going? Up there? And then there aren't any feet down here. There's like some ticks, but they're very misleading. Oh yeah, the high foot. <laughs> ah, I should have kept that high heel. Come on, Anna. Yeah. So you can kind of just see I powered out there. Um, I was a little confused on the beta and like, admittedly, like this is just because I'm not very good at like reading beta and remembering it. I'm like, how I describe my climbing is like, I like to dance through climbs a lot. And so I like to feel, and that's how I kind of learn how to climb. I like get on the rock and I kind of feel, but unfortunately, you need to also be able to like look and understand what your body's gonna do on the route and then execute it without hesitation. And you can just see I hesitated so many times through that flash attempt, which was like, I clearly have the strength to flash it, but I don't have the skills to flash that kind of, that kind of climb. Yeah, I was a little sad to be honest. I was like, oh, I didn't flash it. But honestly, like I need to get over myself. Like, oh my God. So good. Get it. A little more confidence with that first move now that I kind of understood how it goes. Yeah, still no feet. Still really struggling with my footwork here. But I found that high heel and I decided to keep it. Yes! Nice! For me, that was the crux. to the other side really helps like my balance so the come in wasn't so bad. I've seen people campus this move, I've seen like other betas, but 
um, that heel, it really just like set me up to come in super strong. Yes, hey. yeah, good job. Nice one. Yeah, then it like finishes in a weird way around the corner. Yay! <laughs> Mantles are always just effortful. Like you'll see in any of my other videos, I'm just like, ah, like <laughs> beach toiling over. Don't worry, I started squatting. We'll see if that helps, but yeah, I was really stoked. This next one, oh my gosh, I think it might be the cover of one of the guidebooks or something. Um, but basically, I was like, I have to do this one because there's just, you can't go to the Peak District and not like look at this and want to do it, you know? Oh my gosh. It's called Not To Be Taken Away. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so much taller than you think as well because the ground kind of, the ground drops off underneath it. And the first move is the crux. It's one of those perfect climbs where you get the hard part out of the way and then you get to like go to the finish. So I was starting how I saw all the guys starting. Which, okay, I don't mean this to be like me like shitting on guys, and that's what it seemed to turn into, and I don't mean that. But like, it's true, like, if you are like a different size, whatever, if you're Anna, just if you're someone, like, it doesn't necessarily mean that my beta is gonna be the same as someone else's beta, especially when I tend to climb with really burly men who are like at least six feet tall. And so I think it is important to remind myself like after this trip to be like, I should really just like keep looking outside the box. I like to try the burly way because I want to do it that way, but I also want to send to the climb. So I'll usually like give a good go at both. Like I like to try it maybe my way, if you can call something that way. And if I get it, I like to come back and try it the other way. And that's what I do at the gym too. I, I'm not like, satisfied with just doing it one way. I want to do it all the ways. The burly way wasn't quite working for me. It's where you don't really have a foot and you have your arms crossed and you basically press, it's like a smear, and you camp this up to an okay hold, like a hold that you're gonna stick if you get to it. But it was just so, it was just so difficult for me and I don't know if it's because I couldn't pull up on my arms. I don't know if it's because like the friction on my feet wasn't good. Um, I'm not really positive why. All I knew is that at this moment, I wasn't able to do it that way. Okay, and then I said the most indoor thing an outdoor climber can say. Like, I literally live outdoors. And I was like, is this in? Is this hold in? Is this, this isn't in, is it? I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 a, bold, it's a boulder. Like, <laughs> so what I ended up doing is starting with the other foot and then I throw up this wild heel because why the hell not? No one, never been done before. I'm just kidding, it's probably been done so many times before. And then boom. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, basically it's just a bunch of right heels and a posing with your left foot on the wall, just to like keep the tension in. Committing, but you have a really good flake on your left hand. You can just see how far up it is. And you just have to like rock over this foot and reach and then just keep standing. And you get kind of this back foot. I'm way too active to be in this band doing this. You get this like back foot like that to step out. And then I just topped it out. It was really lovely. Like if you go to Peak District, like I can't recommend this one more. It was just Beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, what's the next one? Ah, yeah, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I can't. It's just a highball slab, and it's just you must do it. Just do it. <laughs> like I cannot recommend this more.
basically you just work your way up the serrette and there's some holds on the left side as well. And then right here, I actually missed a foot, but there is a good foot there. And you can kind of see I'm, I'm kind of just teetering on the edge for a while until I find that foot. And once I do, you stand up into this little hole. And once you get to the hole, you just feel like so good. It is scary. The so rut is pretty juggy. And I took some moments here because I was a little bit scared. Um, but like, it was fine. Like you can see, I just put my uh, foot in the hole and then topped it out and it was totally fine. Game through and through. Like it wasn't like I was gonna fall. I was yeah. just like so scared. Yeah, that was good. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Oh my god. Every second I was like, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I think the reason I like these two, the high balls, is because it really does test you. I don't know. I mean, obviously, don't don't risk anything when doing a high ball. Like I would say, do it well under your like grade ability, right? But it's just I don't know. There's something about doing it that just it's so cathartic and you're there alone on the rock I'll say all of this of course and then I'm still terrified of lead climbing but I hope everything from highball bouldering will transfer into ropes one can dream right but I don't know there's just something really special to me about about highball bouldering probably because I, I started out climbing in Joshua Tree and doing like all the highballs like I think my first well and Black Mountain. So like my first V2 or V1 or something was this one called Mr. Greeny, which is wild. And I think one of my first V3s was Slash Face. My first V4 was um, LHMFP. And my first V5 was JBMFP, which are all just like, if you go to Joshua Tree, you know, these are, these are all just like classic high balls that are terrifying. And of course that was like my standard. And then from Joshua Tree, I like basically transitioned into bouldering at Bishop, which again, is just like every highball in the world. So I think I'm a little bit like, I don't know, I just have this romanticism with highballs, but I don't want to like recommend them here online to anyone or everyone. It's one of those things where it's like, if you feel confident in like your skills and ability and also like if it does something for you, like if it's worth it, if it's important to you, then go for it. Um, but I've also broken my foot falling off of a highball in Bishop and yeah, so it's just, it just depends. Yeah. PSA over. Ah, oh, like the last bonus climb. Okay, I didn't want to put this in at first because I didn't get the send. In fact, I kind of tweaked my shoulder doing this climb and it sucked because I had the photo shoot right after and then it's just all this stuff and I was like oh my god my shoulders tweaked. It's called Brad Pitt and I'm sure if you've been to the Peak District you know it so I thought it'd be fun um, just to show myself failing on it. The day was a little bit overcast so the rock wasn't like that grit stone friction it was more like <laughs> this is like this isn't granite, right? This is some kind of sandstone, a harder sandstone. And I was informed you're not supposed to climb on it when you're wet, so I'll spread the PSA. Don't climb on it when it rains at the Peak District. So you get your right foot on this tiny little crystal, maybe, little nubbin. And then basically, it's it's such a short boulder. You get this left heel right where your hands are matched at the start. Lock off. And then I tried to go right hand first because it felt more natural. And then I didn't really know what my plan was, and I just fell. Go on, Anna. Go on. Come on. Go on, Anna. Come on. Come on. Go on. And then the next time I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a game plan, and I'm gonna come in and match. So you're in this like really, really precarious position, and you have to come in and do this like tenuous match. Go on, Anna. So good. Yes, come on. Yes. Go on. Yes, Anna. What did you do there? 
My, uh, you might name me now. Yeah. I think I want to go right hand up match. You want the pads? Stand up a little oh, no, more no. on the heel. Go for it. Bump. Yeah, which one's yours? And then yeah, these two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. It feels okay though. These holds, they're not even holds. I mean, they are. I'm sure, like, I'm sure to some people they feel good, but I was like crimping the shit out of them and I was like, oh my god, this is so difficult. But I like felt that it was kind of almost gonna click. Um, but unfortunately my shoulder did start hurting after this next go. So that fall was pretty uncontrolled. I think just how suddenly I fell and unexpected, because I did feel pretty secure when I was doing that, those moves at that point. Um, I think that's kind of what messed up my shoulder. And so then I just called it. And like, all of me wanted to do it again, but I don't know, at some points you just have to like back away and know that like it's not worth injuring yourself over a climb. But I will be back. I will be back for you, Brad Pitt, because hopefully, fingers crossed, on a very high texture day, I can maybe pull it off, but again, don't know how those next moves are gonna feel. Can't say anything, didn't do it. But I thought it would be fun to add this bonus little climb in there. Damn it, that's a pity. It's yeah. a shame that it was such bad guys. Cool, okay, thank you for watching. I hope you really liked this video of me climbing around the Peak District. It was so beautiful and I just really wish I had more days, more than just like four hours to spend there, but I did feel like I made the most of it. So um, I hope that inspires you to visit there or if you're in the area to go check out the Peak District. And they also have really cool single pitch trad climbing there, which is where I was kind of gonna learn how to trad climb, but I just, we only had four hours. If you go to the Peak District a lot or you, you're a local or something and you know a lot of those climbs, do let me know what I should try next time I'm there just because I will be back, that's for sure. I don't know when, but at some point. I would love to just try more boulders than just these four. Let me know what you thought in the comments below as well, and um, don't forget to subscribe, like, do all of those things because it really helps me and my channel. And if you want to see just more of my adventures, uh, you could press the little bell because I think it, it notifies you when I have a new video, um, so go ahead and do that. Also, I have a Patreon page now. It has exactly zero people on it. I don't know if that's, hopefully that's not true by the time this posts, but I think it will be. Um, even if you want to give just like as little as a dollar a month, I like, I would appreciate it. That's all. Yeah, go check that out if you, if you are inclined and I hope to see you again on my channel. Ciao!